you can imagine that during a rocket flight, it's a stressful environment for electronics and mechanical. The purpose of flight tests for Los Alamos is to fly mock assemblies that represent something that's in our stockpile, weapon that's in our stockpile, and look at the environments of flight, how it affects the mock weapon, and then be able to derive if it would have served its purpose. We're designing new electronics and components uh, to support these systems, but we have little understanding of how they will respond to the high G loading, the, which is an, a very extreme environment. The centrifuge can generate a lot of Gs, and that, would, that actually exceeds the amount of Gs that we would see, gravitational force that we would see during flight. The electronics under test are a telemetry unit produced by intelligence and space research for the objective of telemetering data during flight experiments. What makes our centrifuge unique is that we have the ability to spin large quantities of high explosives. Our centrifuge is capable of reaching uh, approximately 200 miles an hour at the end of the centrifuge arm, which is where the test article is. We are in the range of 100 to 150 G tons of force, uh, which basically means that we can get up to close to 200 G of acceleration and that's representative of the environment they will experience when re-entering the atmosphere. It's very cool, yeah. The centrifuge is, is, is a dramatic test. It's very dramatic to watch, it's loud, it's fast to see the centrifuge in operation. You get much more of a sense of the stresses that are seen through flight. It's actually a, quite a safe operation. We have a steel barricade that surrounds the centrifuge that can take a high impact. Uh, we also operate the centrifuge and all of our tests from uh, a bunker, which is, is remote. Having the capability to go from concept to design to test to de delivery here at Los Alamos is invaluable. So we're taking that small chunk of time, which is by far the most extreme, re-entry back into the atmosphere and just ensuring that our, our weapon systems are capable of withstanding that.